Hello all. Welcome to today's webinar on Transform Your Managed Service Business Model. I'm Uday Nair and I would like to thank you all for taking out time for this webinar. I hope my voice is audible to all. Um, duration of this webinar would be around 20 minutes. Okay. Uh, before we start the webinar, uh, let's quickly go into uh, the functionality of GoToWebinar. Right now, I have everyone on mute to avoid any background noises that may distract you from listening to the webinar. To interact with me, you can either raise a hand or you can type in your questions in the question window shown on the screen. Okay, so uh, that's me, a quick introduction. Uh, my name is Uday Nair, and I work here in Altizen System as Solution Delivery Manager, and has a dream, dream role of implementing IoT solution at client premises. As part of an R&D team, I work as Solution Architect to design and develop IoT solutions specific to the client and implement through our system integrators. Through this webinar today, I would be sharing my ground experiences uh, with the participants here. Overall, I have 10 years of experience working in various roles in direct sales and product management and developing channel partners in APAC and Europe region. I've been fortunate enough to work in telecom, IT services, and engineering services area. During my off time, I love cooking and used to own a small restaurant as well. Uh, I also go for long rides on my bullet, which I love very much. Okay, uh, let's start with our webinar today. Um, today's webinar is focused towards managed service providers and how IoT can transform business for them. Uh, we at Altizon have been fortunate enough to uh, be working right now with a few of such managed service providers. And uh, through this webinar, uh, we would like to share those experiences uh, with you all. Uh, what we realized today is uh, managed service providers provide a wide range of services to manage critical assets, which includes running them at optimal level, closely monitoring the cost and aligning them to the customer's business goal. Uh, some of the assets uh, which are managed through our platform include solar panels, wind turbines, field compressor and pumps, uh, even entire smart city as well. Uh, during the course of this webinar, I'll be also taking you through some of the case studies uh, uh, of the implementation which we have done. Okay. So uh, one of the main things with, uh, we found that what the managed service providers uh, they do for their customer is providing complete maintenance lifecycle strategy. Um, and they depend on Altizen platform for doing that so. Okay. Uh, now that we have established the focus group here, let's deep dive into what, why, and how. Uh, IoT is actually used uh, in asset management. Uh, there are a number of valuable integrated maintenance management services which are provided by professional MSP, which includes plant site maintenance, plant equipment maintenance, preventive and predictive maintenance, and spare part maintenance. Uh, this, of course, is not the exhaustive list, but uh, these are few of the important uh, uh, segments which are uh, looked into by the MSP. Uh, one of the main things uh, what we see here, all these services require precise real-time data from the assets, and IoT makes it less of a challenge. Uh, what we have in today's world is introduction of intelligent device and smart grids which make it very easy to assimilate the data in real time and create actionable items. Uh, in traditional method, uh, most of the time critical data uh, were not correlated 
and maintenance was done based on a prefix schedule rather than comparing the performance of that asset. Um, just to give you uh, an example would be uh, if you purchase a two-wheeler here in India, typically you get a schedule of maintenance saying that, you know, the first service has to be in the 500 kilometer and um, uh, typically it has to happen in a month's time. Uh, but, uh, you know, but it, it never, it never, uh, 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 but, 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 you know, typically they never say, they never look into uh, what are the kind of uh, driving conditions which I am uh, uh, going through. And they don't actually tell what kind of maintenance is required uh, based on the driving conditions. Uh, with Internet of Things, what we actually do is we can correlate the existing performance variance with the standard and apply proper asset management techniques. Okay. So with the industrial world, this is actually happening. Um, if, if I have to break down the components of IoT, it will be in three parts, uh, as I shown here in the screen. The first part is the hardware, uh, which, which is the uh, which becomes a very critical part and one of the most challenging part uh, because of the heterogeneous nature uh, of the assets which are to be managed. Okay. However, uh, with the availability of low-cost microchip, custom devices can be manufactured at a low cost. Uh, we have brands like Intel, Raspberry Pi, and BeagleBoard uh, coming up with uh, small compute uh, microchip boards, which are actually used for creating the hardware devices. Um, uh, one of the beauty about this hardware device is it has got a small compute element and uh, it can go and communicate with your existing assets. It can interact with the hardware and can capture signals from the asset, which can be in a digital input or any standard uh, automation protocols like Modbus, Profibus, etc. Uh, modern hardware are also able to collect the data from your existing SCADA system and PLC as well. Uh, the second part is the connectivity. Uh, without internet, there is no internet of things. Uh, so you need internet connectivity either through LAN connection or uh, uh, where LAN connection is not available, uh, we have worked through GPRS using SIM card as well. Uh, the third important layer uh, is the platform and the software. Uh, IoT platform is uh, very unique in the sense is it is able to ingest the machine data uh, in a raw format and, uh, uh, you know, where it is stored and processed based on the business needs. Um, that, that's about, uh, you know, the device data. Uh, let's, let's look into how the world is looking at IoT. Um, you know, typically the maintenance uh, uh, sector of an industry, how they are adapting IoT. Uh, what I have here is a study uh, conducted by LNS Research and Maintenance Technology Magazine on how IoT has been used in the maintenance. Um, uh, most of the participants uh, are actually from the manufacturing sector and what we see that is it's not only asset management firms but also facilities management firms who are big time users of IoT enabled solution. Uh, one of the main advantage uh, of the IoT solution which people find is uh, in remote monitoring and there has been a major usage acceptance. Uh, as you can see here, around 84% of the users now believe that IoT will impact the industrial maintenance. This is a major boost. Um, you know, we have cases where we have gone into an industry and we have worked with uh, many of the MSP players who say that they have uh, many projects which are going on in the industrial automation, uh, you know, working on different platforms, but they have not been able to uh, get all those data on a new natural platform and that's why many of their projects have been washed up. Now, with the IoT solving the connectivity problem, Many of them are actually looking forward 
uh, and using IoT as their main business advantage. Uh, as you can see on the right hand side, uh, many of the facility managers are using IoT and for them remote monitoring seems to be a major case study. Um, just to give you an example, one of our client is an OEM pump manufacturer and uh, they have this pump at the remote location. Uh, maintenance of this remote located pump was a big headache. So if the pump uh, goes down, it takes an engineer at least a couple of days to go there and change the components. By that time, there's a lot of uh, uh, damage uh, commercially, which is already done. So what they did is, uh, you know, we, we worked with them building the hardware device, uh, which can collect eight key parameters of the pump. And uh, uh, this hardware device uh, was attached with the pump itself. Uh, that means this IoT at birth uh, kind of a system we generated. And uh, using the SIM card, uh, these eight key parameters were sent on our platform. Uh, so these pumps are at remote location and uh, before this solution was implemented, maintenance was a big hurdle. Uh, using Altizone system, uh, right now they have remote monitoring condition solution. Okay, so let's, let's look into uh, the platform uh, uh, in the next slide. Um, the, the product uh, of what we have been using for the IoT uh, a product is called as Daytonis, and uh, it's uh, built in such a way that we are able to uh, connect to the different uh, categories of the assets seamlessly, and uh, we are able to ingest machine data uh, in the raw format. Uh, that's one of the main uh, criteria for being an IoT platform. So, uh, what are the other, there are some of the other unique uh, features within the platform itself, uh, which makes it uh, very suitable for, uh, for uh, you know, an MSP player. Um, Datonis is flexible in terms of data ingestion, be it a sensor sending a single parameter like a temperature or a compressor, which can send around 100 parameters at a time. Uh, our platform is also highly scalable. For example, our, uh, you know, if our existing customer uh, are having, say, around 100 pounds, and in a couple of weeks' time they decide now they want to send the data of, say, around 1,000 pounds, yes, we can easily scale up to that number. So, uh, so be it a million devices sending up billion values, uh, you know, our platform are highly scalable. This is something which traditional legacy systems are not designed for. But using big data technologies, we are able to crunch huge amount of data. Um, the data streaming coming from the sensor is uh, aggregated in time series data. Uh, and using big data, uh, we roll up uh, this data, which can be later drilled down to a monthly, daily, and minutely data. Uh, since the data is stored uh, with a timestamp, uh, this helps in uh, time-based query as well. Um, uh, one of the major features uh, which has been used extensively by uh, most of our MSP is the, uh, 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 the rule engine, which is built within the platform. So, wherein you know, threshold-based alerts can be configured uh, for the key parameters. Um, so typically, when, a, when we implement uh, Datonis at an MSP, uh, there are three components or three layers of it. Uh, one is the sensor data. The first one is the sensor data capture. So typically, assets, uh, you know, uh, they have sensors which provide a constant stream of data. Uh, or uh, in, in, in cases where uh, the sensors are not available, we develop the hardware to collect the, uh, you know, the sensor data. Um, uh, using rule alert engine, uh, what the managed service providers can do is set a threshold based alert and any variable crossing the threshold will automatically trigger a rule. Uh, one of the example is, uh, you know, one of our MSP has, uh, you know, sets a rule wherein uh, the temperature goes up, uh, if the temperature of a pump goes uh, above a certain limit, uh, you can actually send a uh, alert notification uh, to the uh, to the maintenance team. So this is one of the rules. Uh, 
uh, this is one of the things which you can do with the rune engine. Uh, the second layer comes the data communication layer. Uh, so data is fresh from the field devices and directly sent to a platform using some kind of a WAN or a LAN based connectivity. In cases where LAN is not available, we can also send the data uh, using uh, GPLS packets as well. Um, the third one, uh, the third part uh, of, 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 the, of our solution is the, is the uh, actual platform where in real time monitoring is used. But uh, many of our customers are going forward and actually uh, implementing predictive maintenance as well. Uh, what we do is the captured data is evaluated and business intelligence is applied over the past data events on which platform can suggest uh, better maintenance schedule. Okay, so that that's how uh, MSP has been using our platform that is Daytonist. But uh, let's let's look into you know the two key points that uh, you know we felt after working with many of the MSP uh, were more critical in transforming the business uh, for these managed service providers. Uh, the first one, you know, what we found out was that, you know, uh, uh, IoT solutions actually help uh, MSP to move from a reactive to a proactive condition monitoring. Uh, it is done in such a way because uh, conditioning monitoring is a key ingredient uh, in a customer's proactive management process, uh, thus enabling the MS providers make a facility proactive and reliable. So uh, the end customer is always uh, dependent on the managed service providers to have the uh, operations at a reliable level and uh, real-time conditioning monitoring actually helps them to be more proactive. Um, real-time alerts and predictive analytics uh, help you to identify most of the equipment issues and provides you enough advanced warning uh, before the failure happens and which can have cost implications as well. Um, uh, the second part is uh, actually the predictive analytics uh, used for predictive maintenance. Uh, I'd like to uh, uh, you know, dwell more into this topic and uh, this is something that is very interesting for us also. So predictive maintenance is a business intelligence derived at by analyzing an in-service machine data and plan the maintenance in advance. Such data-driven predictive maintenance using IoT applications are gaining industry acceptance. So many of our customers uh, have started the engagement with us uh, as a pure uh, 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 real-time reporting or conditioning of the uh, uh, assets. And slowly, now they are moving towards the next level of IoT implementation, that is using the huge amount of data uh, which has been assimilated and using the prediction models for that. Uh, predictive maintenance requires the collection and systematic analyzing of the large quantities of data to help, the, uh, to help predict the faults and error outside the normal tolerance range. Now, these anomalies can be symptoms of large problems with the asset and might trigger a maintenance response. Now, how we do at Altizen is uh, we use different models like regression, fingerprinting, curve fitting uh, on the huge amount of data which we have collected. And, uh, uh, and, and we, we uh, do these kind of models on the data to predict the failures. Okay. Um, what it allows is predictive maintenance uh, uh, and the predictive analytics techniques allows the enterprise to strengthen the warranty and service quality, thus keeping a competitive advantage, uh, you know, with the competitors. Um, enterprise are also looking at improved customer satisfaction with fewer warranty claims uh, using the predictive maintenance. So uh, not only enterprise, but MSPs are also uh, looking to capitalize, uh, you know, these features of the predictive maintenance. Um, IoT solutions uh, today provide 
uh, an immediate boost. Uh, you know what we have seen is they provide an immediate boost uh, to the business of uh, managed service providers. Um, today they trust us uh, with the key revenue generation process. Uh, some of them, which includes uh, real-time device management of the clients, uh, accurate spare management, uh, real-time condition using alerts, uh, and also uh, critical things like you know asset change management uh, by identifying the asset obsolescence. Uh, this not only improves uh, adherence to their SLAs, uh, which you know MSP usually have with their end customer, but also helps them to have a better risk management, uh, improve end customer plant uh, plant efficiency, and also reduce the uh, asset fatigues. And, and you know, if you see the solution benefits, these are some of the uh, key uh, uh, points for you know the business transformation which happens uh, in between the MSP and the customer as well. Um, uh, let's let's uh, have a look into one of the case study uh, where we have implemented uh, uh, the solution which I've just explained here. So. Uh, we have a customer, uh, the client is a leading smart city developer and uh, initially they tied up uh, you know, with us to provide hardware and platform solution uh, based on IoT for uh, centralized uh, metering of the utilities. So in the initial level it was uh, you know, creating um, a smart energy meter um, uh, which, which, which will be actually used for uh, monitoring the uh, electricity as well as the, you know, we also build uh, a metering system for their uh, water transport, for the water utilization as well within the facility. Uh, as we build the platform, uh, you know, we, we actually design the modules in such a way that uh, it can be at a, a scalable manner. Okay. So the solutions were built with this uh, smart city. Uh, developer from the birth access, uh, from, from the initial level itself. Uh, once uh, you know we, we built up the complete utility manage, uh, utility management through our IoT devices. Um, you know the customer realized that there's a lot of data which is available, and the platform can be utilized for much wider use. So later on, they started to build mobile apps uh, for the end customer, and uh, they tapped in the data which is. Uh, available on our IoT platform. Uh, so initially, uh, you know, it just started from the centralized metering and billing system. Later, you know, the entire IoT platform got expanded and it covered uh, things like utility demand planning, uh, asset health monitoring, and now uh, we are also looking into uh, providing the, you know, using the predictive analytics for providing the maintenance plan for all the uh, pumps and compressor which are used in the utilities as well. Uh, some of the other interesting things what we are uh, doing for them is, uh, you know, providing the outage and leak detection and control system. And uh, we are using the latest uh, technologies. Uh, uh, we have been able to uh, use technologies like Zigbee also, wherein, which is a two-way communication. And uh, so it's not only real-time monitoring, but uh, we can also, uh, you know, control the uh, sensors as well. Okay, so uh, this is a beautiful example of, uh, you know, where our platform has been uh, fully utilized by the uh, MSP for not only, uh, uh, you know, having a con conditioning monitoring for their uh, assets, uh, but also uh, to uh, to uh, completely. Uh, manage their, you know, the facilities. Okay. So the entire smart city is now being uh, uh, completely uh, looked into or administered uh, through, you know, the entire facility management happens through our uh, IoT platform. So it, it effectively has become a smart city management system. Okay. So uh, uh, that that's the end of the uh, webinar today. Uh, I hope uh, our experience uh, uh, I was able to share with you uh, of uh, you know how the solutions we have been providing for our managed service providers. 
So on behalf of Altizen, I would like to thank you for attending this webinar. Um, if you find this topic uh, interesting, uh, uh, do contact us to know more about our services. And uh, I would like to end this webinar uh, by opening the forum uh, for any question and answers uh, you may have now. Okay. Okay. Uh, I see one question here. Uh, so, um, who would like to know the, the question is regarding uh, whether the solution is provided and on cloud or on premise as well. Uh, uh, basically, we have we have built uh, the technology in such a way that uh, uh, we can provide our solution uh, in the cloud platform. Uh, currently, which is posted on uh, AWS, uh, but at the same time, uh, uh, for many of our enterprise customers, where you know cloud is not a valid, uh, cloud might not be a good solution. We are also pro providing uh, on-premise installation as well, and uh, you know, so the performance uh, uh, remains the same. We have made sure that uh, the customer using our cloud platform and uh, customer using our enterprise platform. Have the uh, same performance level. Okay. Uh, okay. So that's the uh, only question which I have right now. Uh, so thank you uh, very much all for attending this webinar. Uh, this is uh, just a reminder that uh, uh, this is the first webinar uh, of the three-part series of uh, marathon webinar which we are having in Altizen. So tomorrow and day after tomorrow uh, we'll be covering topics about how IoT is used uh, by the OEM customers uh, and also uh, we are shortly launching our uh, uh, historian product uh, to the uh, international market as well. So do join in uh, to that webinar as well. Uh, thank you very much.